Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. So today's lesson is all about square roots and radicals. Now you've probably seen this symbol before, which is called the radical symbol or the square root symbol. Now both of these words and phrases mean the same thing. Okay, now the word radical is a little more general because it could be a cube root or a fourth root or a fifth root. And square root is basically has to do with the power of two. But it has to all do with this symbol right here, which you've seen before, especially on calculators that you use. Now the idea with a square root or a radical is it relates to a square. That's why we call it that. So let's say we have a three by three square. The area is, of course, three squared. 3 multiplied by itself, which would be 9. So the area inside of that entire square is 9 square units. What if it's 4 by 4? Well, 4 squared would be 16. So the area inside that square would be 16. And what if it's 5? Well, as you can see the pattern here, that would be 5 squared, 5 to the power of 2. 5 times 5 is 25. All right, now if we go in reverse, square root of 9 okay so think about again a square if the area is 9 what are the sides of the square so you're going backwards it's an opposite operation so taking the square root means that each side would be a length of 3 and the square root of 16 would be 4 because 4 times 4 is 16 and the square root of 25 is 5 all right now, when we go ahead and um, grab a calculator, and you'll notice that radical symbol there. The idea is that you are trying to find um, the side of a square when you know the area. Okay, that's the concept at least. So, for example, let's say we know that the area of a square is 15. Okay. So the idea is then what are the sides of the square? So what number multiplied by itself gives you 15? Now if you just plug that into the calculator, you'll get 3.8729 and like a lot of these radical answers goes forever, usually with no pattern to it. All right, but a lot of times we'll need to round our answer to in this case 3.9. Now if you were to take 3.9 and measure a square 3.9 units on each side then you multiply it together you would get about 15 square units on the inside okay so that's the idea there now let's say we had the square root of 20 okay we had a square whose area we already knew was 20 so the question is what is the length of the side so the square root of 20 if you put it in your calculator 4.4721 which rounds to about 4.5. Now go ahead and check this in your calculator. Do 4.5 times 4.5, which is 4.5 squared. And it's going to be just a little over 20. Again, we're just approximating the idea. So you'll be working with radicals a lot in your, especially your algebra classes. And when you're working with right triangles and squares and even rectangles, anything that has to do with a squaring idea to undo it, you take the square root. All right, I hope this helps the general concept of square roots and radicals. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.